Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Gradio portable outdoor radio. So this is provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So this thing is just packed with features. Here we list a number of them on the side as an SOS light, earphone, Type-C charging, micro SD card playback, Bluetooth, flashlight, solar charging, crank generation, radio, compass, USB playback, and USB emergency output. So the Amazon description lists this as being able to receive AM, FM, weather band, and shortwave. So let's get this open. So this comes in this plastic case. Pop it open. Here we have a contact card. We have a manual and the radio itself. Let's take a quick look at the manual. I'm not going to cover everything in here. You'll want to read through it on your own. So this charges with USB. There's a note here that they recommend a five volt, one or two amp charger for charging. So here you can see the different parts of the radio. You can pause and read through that. To turn it on, you long press the power button and then you long press it to turn it off. It has a sleep mode. You short press the mode button to set a time shutdown. Each press increases the duration by 10 minutes. So it looks like it has 10 through 90 and off. So if you like to go to sleep with some white noise or some music, you can use that sleep mode. So this has a mode to lock the buttons. So if you have this in a bag or something, or maybe you give it to a child, you can lock the button so they can't change the settings on it. It has the volume knob. It has an integrated compass in the middle. And here we have the radio mode. So you press the function switch till radio, then you press the band and choose the band you want to hear. It has digital tuning, so you can long press the next or previous buttons for automatic search. You can long press the play pause button to automatically search and store as preset stations. Short press the music button to call out the preset stations. You can switch the preset stations with the next previous button. So it has Bluetooth mode. So this turns this into a Bluetooth speaker. If you go into your settings of your device, it's named R12. This talks about micro SD card playback, so you can load music or other files onto that and listen to it. We have the SOS alert, so that will flash the flashlight. It has solar charging and hand crank charging. It says hand crank at 130 to 150 RPMs for one minute. The flashlight can be used for more than 30 minutes or play the radio medium volume for three minutes. It says please turn the hand crank three to five minutes to activate the internal battery before using the product. So you want to run it for a minimum of three to five minutes and then for each minute you'll get the 30 minutes of light or three minutes of radio. So I would typically consider using the hand crank the last resort if you have an emergency and you find out the battery's dead, but it's best to keep the battery charged up. Then we have the USB Type-C input, USB output, so you can plug a phone into this to charge your phone. It has a battery indicator, has overload protection, and here are the specs. You can pause and read through those. This tells the frequencies it receives. Playback for Bluetooth, SD card, and USB is around 12 hours. The flashlight is around 20 hours. And then we have some other notes here. So let's take a look at the radio. So this has a really cool industrial look to it. Then over here, we have the USB charge cable. So I really think it's cool it comes in this case. You can see this radio has buttons and things on it. So if you threw this in the back of your car, things could get damaged or broken off. It could also potentially get turned on. With this nice case to store it in, it's ready to go when you need it. So looking around here, we have that antenna that pulls up, the volume knob, the different mode buttons, the flashlight, radio Bluetooth, here, switch, the hand crank, let's pull that out. Speakers on the front, we have the display. This is the tuning knob, power button. We have feet on the bottom, looks like there's plastic on those. So if you set this on the table, that will keep it from sliding around. And we have the solar panel on the back and there is a piece of plastic here. So a solar panel on a device like this is pretty small. You wouldn't expect this to be completely dead. Throw it out in the sun for five minutes and have it charge completely. If you're taking this camping, you'd want to charge it up. And then during the day, if you have full sun, put this out in the full sunlight to recover some of the charge you've used during the day. Or if you're in an emergency situation, you might use that hand crank to get some power into it. So you could say, listen to the radio, weather report, and then stick it out in the sun to charge it up further for later use. We also have plastic on this screen. So there's a little cover here with the different ports. So we have the USB, micro SD, charging, and headphone. Now this does come with a tether, comes off very easily. To get that back on, I'll pull this clip open and hook it on there, like so. So let's try charging this. So this will charge with the phone charger. As it said in the instructions, you want one that's about one to two amps. So I'll plug that in to the USB type C. And here you can see the charge indicator showing it's charging. So let's unplug that. And it's charging at 0.87 amps. So that can vary depending on the state of charge of the radio. 
So we have so many features on this to check out. Let's start with the hand crank. Let's try it. So this will pull out. We can put our hand on here and then we will crank it. You can see the battery there is flashing. So that was very smooth and that fits in there nice and tight. Let's try turning it on. Okay, so we're on. Let's switch through the modes. Oh, that's the sleep. So I need to hit the function switch, which is here. So I'll hit that to radio. There we go. We're tuned in. So on the back here, I'll hit play. I'll hold that down and that should auto tune it. Now I won't be able to play too much music because it will have copyright, but pull the antenna up. And then we have volume here. Piece of plastic here too. So this is auto tuning. So it's going through and finding the strongest stations and it's automatically setting those for presets. So it says short press the music button up here to call out the stations. So let me try tuning into a station here manually. Okay, so we're tuned in. Now I am in a basement, so I don't have the best radio reception, but I was getting radio in there and some other stations were coming in pretty good too. Now this does have a little backlight on it and it does turn off automatically. I don't know if I mentioned the battery in this is 4,000 milliamp hours, so it has a good size battery on it. So that's the radio mode. Now let's try a different band. So here's the AM band. Let me tune to a station here. Backjack table, right? If you're not on the table, you're winning, it feels good. And people that are doing really poorly. So there's an AM station. So the AM stations around here typically have talk radio or um, sports or things like that. Let's try band again. So next we have shortwave. See if I can get something to tune in on here. I don't know if I'm gonna pick anything up on shortwave here because I'm in a basement. Okay, so I have the shortwave on outside and I'm at 15 megahertz. And this is playing the time code. At the dome, 18 hours, 3 minutes. Coordinated universal time. So that read off the time and then it beeped. So if you tune into this frequency, you could use it to set a clock accurately. But I can pick up weather radio. Let's switch to that. So here we have weather radio. Or 12 degrees Celsius, the dew point 30, and the relative humidity 41%. The wind was northwest at 24 miles an hour, gusting to 36. The pressure was 29. So there we're getting weather radio, and it was automatically tuned to my local weather station. Next, let's try Bluetooth mode. So we'll go on the side here, and we'll switch to that. We don't need the antenna. So I'll go into the Bluetooth settings on my device. Here I have an iPad. We'll watch for that to come up. And it looks like it's blank here. Let's tap on that. Yeah, the name wasn't coming up, but it does seem connected. So I'll pull up some music and I'll play it. So now we're streaming Bluetooth to it. Now I will want to adjust the volume on my iPad. Now I can go to the next and previous songs by pressing next previous on the speaker itself. So I was controlling it with these buttons back here. 
So I don't know why it didn't come up with the name on here, but I was able to tap on the blank Bluetooth and it connected right up. It sounds okay for a small speaker. It doesn't have a lot of low end. I wouldn't expect this to. I think this speaker is more ideal for listening to podcasts, talk radio, light music, maybe a sports baseball game or something. You're not going to use this to entertain people at a dance party or something, but it's not really designed for that. This also has a white noise mode. So if we press down on the music note button and hold it down, this will take us to white, white noise. noise mode. So then we can press the next previous to go to the different white noises. Let's go back. So I'll cycle through these. This is the first one. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. If you turn that off, I'll hold down that button again. Bluetooth mode. White noise machine could be great when you travel if you go to a hotel room and you want some white noise to drown out other sounds. Next, let's try the USB mode. This will work the same as the micro SD card mode. And micro SD card would typically be the preferred way to connect music into this because you could just stick it in there and then close this flap. This is gonna stick out quite a ways. But I have some music on here, so it's easy. USB mode. Easy for demonstrating. So that started playing right away. and then go to the next previous tracks. So you could get a micro SD card on here, place a bunch of your MP3s on here, and you can have music on the device itself. So if you're hiking or something, or maybe you're in an emergency and you're just waiting for help, you could listen to some music just to help relax. So this has the SOS alert function. So we'll press that here. The light was flashing and this was going off. Now I muted the volume in this video to help your ears, but that was quite loud. So if I was actually on a trail and injured and called for help and I wanted to help someone locate me, I could turn that on. You could hang it from a tree or you could maybe shine the light if it's dark towards the direction the rescuers would be coming, but that will draw a lot of attention. So we saw the flashlight flashing with the SOS mode, but we can also just turn that on. So that's what that looks like. I'll turn the lights out and shine at the wall and I'll insert a clip here of what that looks like. Okay, so here's a corner. It's not perfectly dark, but it's pretty dark. So here's the flashlight. So it has kind of a spot in the middle and then it's a little bit more even around the edges. So you could use this for say preparing dinner or for searching for something. It should be a good dual use light in an emergency situation. Now this also has a compass on the top. So to read the compass, you'll want to have the radio straight up and down and it's pointing this way for north, and that seems accurate to me. Now you want to make sure you're not near any heavy steel structures when you're measuring that or other magnetic sources, because that could throw it off. But if you're out in the wilderness, that's not very likely. So this can also charge your phone with the USB Type-C. So the USB Type-C can be used to charge the radio itself and to charge other devices. So I have a USB-C charge cable here, I'll plug into it. The other end has lightning on it. I'll plug that into a phone, and now we're charging. Now, needless to say, that will take some power away from the radio, so you'll need to balance out your needs if you're in a situation where you don't have a lot of power and you need to make phone calls and use the radio. I'm going to try the USB-A port for charging, and that also charges. So you can use the USB Type-C or USB-A port. So I think I've covered most of the features on here. So that's the Gradio Portable Outdoor Radio. This thing is just jam-packed with features. You have AM, FM, shortwave, weather band, has Bluetooth, micro SD card, USB, has different ways to power it with solar hand crank and the rechargeable battery, has a flashlight built in, and it's all in the small little radio. It doesn't take up a lot of space. So a radio like this would be great for emergency use during power outages. You could take this camping with you on road trips. You could take it in hotels, things like that. You might see the sky getting dark. You can turn on your weather radio and get a weather report from the National Weather Service and you can get prepared to take cover if necessary. I really like the look of this also. It has a nice industrial look to it. It feels nice and solid. And one of my favorite features is it comes with this nice case. So if you do throw this in the back of your car, truck, RV, it's gonna stay nice and protected in there. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.